Hello everyone and we are here with Dog Sled Saga which I have been actually waiting to play for an extremely long time and I wanted to put off the game because you guys have suggested it for so long until it was properly winter so oh my gosh moose strips variety oh my goodness and look at the pixels this is bringing back so many memories of playing things like Oregon Trail when I was younger most of you guys don't even know what I'm talking about because you're you're just too young you're too young to remember the golden era of these awesome pixel games Games. But this game in particular has dogs. We're playing Dog Sled Saga. We are up in, I'm assuming, Alaska, and I'm assuming we're raising some dogs that can be used as sled dogs. There's all sorts of awesome historical sled dogs out there, like Balto, um, quite a few other ones, some of which are fictional, some of which are real sled dogs. There's still sled dogs used in uh, a lot of the national parks to be able to help the park rangers get around and survey the area. So let's go ahead. So press and hold anywhere. Oh, did I just throw? Oh, I just smacked my dog. I'm so sorry, buddy. Yay, he got the little thing. Okay, feed the panting dog again. Oh, this dog's panting now. Okay, can I get you? Yeah, so we're throwing treats to our dogs. And now we're out of food. Can we restock? Oh, and you click on it to restock. Okay, and then we feed the panting dog again. Okay, our lead dog is panting. Oh my goodness, look at that. So tap three times, Zing. Three times. Oh, and we jump over that hurdle. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then my doggy got entangled. Uh, drag the dog forward to reduce the slack. You've. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that we've kind of got an idea of how to take care of a few things for the tutorial, and we're gonna jump into the career of being a. Okay, there we go, a musher. So that's what you call it when you are being a musher. Ooh, I'm gonna take the green musher because I like all the green colors. So we're gonna use our musher's license. Um, we're gonna grab our certificate and I think we're gonna like run, welcome to Mount Saint something. The dog sledding capital of the nation promises a new world of opportunity. Raleigh, oh my goodness. An old family friend, the warden of Firebowl Kennel, has invited you to be its new resident musher. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Settle into your new digs. Tomorrow you'll meet three dogs for your starting team. Oh my gosh, and I know you can like get different dogs as time goes on. Are these my dogs? Am I picking my dogs? I'm picking my dogs. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, so we have Milo, a black lab who's obedient. Then it's a boy. That sounds really good. Moo Moo, a white husky who's strong personality and a boy. Floss, a brown husky who has who's a girl and has a strong personality. This one has like eight something. Recognize traits. Interesting. There's a St. Bernard girl, Inns, who is obedient. There's Ritz the Malamute, who has a steady personality. And let's see, a little boy. I wonder what these symbols under their, their names mean. There's a schnauzer. <laughs> I've never even imagined a schnauzer like being in the lineup for dog sledding team. Normally it's like your, your big, big dogs or dogs that are bred specifically for it. There's Kisho. A little boy who's a schnauzer with a steady personality. Uh, Armas, who's a chocolate lab with an obedient personality. Oscar Wilde, a husky. Oh, and then we're back to Milo. You know, Milo sounds great because he's obedient and he has eight something somethings. So I think I want to go ahead. <gasps> Milo, look at you. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to hire Milo. Um, can we change his name? Oh my gosh, you guys, we're going to have to start collecting new dog names. Do I want to change his name? Milo... If I could change your name, Oscar Wilde, Coogan, Ramus. Um, what do I want to name you, Milo? Black Lab? Do I? I don't actually know any Black Labs, like personally. We've had Black Labs, and my uncle like was breeding his labs, but they all got adopted. And oh man, um, Joseph the Fist, Egon Smithbird. Oh my gosh, Lionel Q, Puppy Puppy, Harry, Tie an Edge. You know what? I feel like. Let's name him Miles. I feel like the M name fit him, so we're gonna name him Miles. Miles has just joined our team, and that is fantastic. All right, so we have a very obedient dog, and now we have the choice of getting Blue, who's also very obedient, or Floss. Um, maybe I want, I feel like a steady Malamute personality would be a good thing. I feel like maybe we want dogs with different personalities, so let's go ahead and hire Ritz, and we're gonna change your name 
Dexter is actually a pretty cool looking name for that Malamute. So we're going to keep Dexter. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. And we need to get one last dog. So we've got Obedient and we've got um, Steady. So I wonder if we should go with Strong now. And a White Husky actually sounds really cute, but Floss, we don't have... <gasps> Look at her! Look at her! Oh, I can't... Oh, dang it. I probably should be picking her more carefully, but I really like her. I'm going to name her... What am I going to name her? Um, hmm. So a little girl, her name was Floss. And I want to rename her to something. Let's name her Lavender? Lavender? I know it seems kind of weird, but I, I want to name her Lavender. <gasps> Look at my dogs! Oh my gosh! I think I'm going to bop somebody. I'm sorry! I bopped him. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. Miles is hungry. All right, Lavender needs some food. All right, we got it. We got it. All right, we're out of food, so I need the little thing to show up again. Oh, oh, did I get it? I got it. Yes. All right, need to feed the panting dog. So that would be you right here, Dexter. All right. Oh, oh, oh. oh did we do it? Did we do it? Okay, I think we did it. Yay! All right, got to tap the dog to untangle. Drag the dog forward to reduce drift. Restock. Oh, I think we did it. Oh, somewhere to tree farm. First place winnings is $450. Okay, so I think the whole point of the game, because I've only seen like a couple Let's Plays years ago on this, is that you are building up your dog sledding team and you are taking care of them by like going to races. You are entering different challenges. You are trying to grow your kennel. And let's see, so let's see, somewhere to tree farm. I'm guessing that this is the race that we're gonna enter. Length long, no wind, weather clear, average challenge, challenge level average plus two. Snow quality is flawless. There's two obst like obstacles. Um, track voyage two, restocks. Okay, so there's three restock points and we need a dog sled team of three. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, exhaustion rate, fatigue, personality. Um, and then you can arrange who's gonna be like the lead dog, who's gonna be the other. So I think obedient at the back, steady in the middle, and strong in the front as lavender would be good. I feel like we got a good mix of personalities. I hope that was the right thing to do. Cause like I said, I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, oh look, there's the other teams. All right, we're gonna do this, you guys. We've got this. All right, come on, lavender. Come on, Dexter, come on, Miles. All right, here we go, Miles. I see that hungry, hungry puppy. Here you go, Dexter. I see you right there. Oh, and now Lavender's getting a little hungry. Oh, I need that restock point. Oh, did I get it? Looks, please. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, who's tangled? Who's drifting? Oh. Oh, no, we're tangling. Why are we tangling? Okay, there we go. Okay, need to restock. There we go. Oh, wait, they're getting hungry. All right, and don't tangle, don't tangle. Who's tangling? Oh my gosh, this is a little bit more complicated. You've got a lot going on at once. All right, come on, come on, puppies. Come on, oh, why am I not getting her? Oh boy, keep going, keep going. We need some We need some serious dog feeding going on to each one of these guys. Okay, I've got you. I've got you. Whoops. Oh my gosh, this is so much harder than it was earlier. All right, I need to get you. Come on, buddy. Come on, right in the mouth, there we go. And then got you a snack, need to pull you up a little bit. All right, I think we got this a little bit better now. Oh my goodness. Who's panting? All right, Lavender's panting. And we also need, oh my goodness. <laughs> cameras are flashing. Are we really in fifth place? Is that why cameras are flashing or was that just like a good, perfect? Okay, okay there's for Lavender. All right, keep an eye on everybody so they don't tangle. Oh, all right. Hang in there, Miles. Hang in there, Dexter. All right, doing good. Come on, don't tangle, sweetie. Oh, are we really catching up with everybody? Okay, Lavender, hang on. I'm throwing the food out there. Hang in there, Dexter. Hang in there, Miles. Oh, Miles, I'm sorry. All right, go, Miles, go. Oh my gosh, we're in fourth place now. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, and we need more food. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, Lavender, come on, you can do it, sweetie. All right, there we go, yes, perfect. We're in third, no way. All right, come on, Dexter. There we go. All right, so we've got them all lined up. Okay, go, Lavender, go, 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 Lavender. 
We're almost there. Come on, Miles. We're almost there. Oh, did we hit third? <laughs> All right. I think we're in third. We got some winnings though. Okay, you guys. So that was our very first race. Oh, look at that. They've got like the little, oh, I love pixel details. I am just such a big, huge pixel game fan. So look at this. We have managed to get um, a little bit of winnings, 113. Came in third place. Not pretty bad if you ask me, considering there was a moment where everything was just totally falling apart. And they have those little like stick your head in and take a picture things over there. That's really cute. It looks like an apple and a Christmas tree. Why would you pick an apple? Is that supposed to be an order? Who knows? All right, so let's see what's going on over here. Skill has increased. Oh my gosh, so skill has increased on Miles, and the fatigue has also gone up on Miles too. Miles has a low exhaustion rate this race. With the number of times he drops speed, he's gained two fatigue. So they, the more they drop speed, then that increases their fatigue. Good to know. Uh, skill increased. He caught 10 pieces of food, and one of which was perfectly timed. Yay! And his skill level has increased to one. His skill will occur more often now. Oh, I wonder what skill you have, buddy. And then over here, Dexter fatigue up five times, which I'm so sorry. You gave Dexter a little bit of his favorite thing. His happiness is still great. Oh, yay! I wonder what on earth his favorite thing was. His skill increased because he caught eight pieces of food. Uh, and then we have a little lavender. Her fatigue also went up. I'm so sorry. Her exhaustion. She got exhausted because she drops speed a good number of times in this race or her happiness is down a little bit, but it's still great Her favorite thing apparently happened here. So she got an increase there. She has a skill increase and Yay skill level one. Okay, so let's go ahead What's on your mind? Uh, what about the cameras flashing the crowd got excited and took pictures of my team? It's if cool things happen during a race, cameras from around the crowd will flash and your dogs can get famous. Famous dogs attract sponsors. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't ask him about it anymore. Hi, puppies. How do I take care of you? Hey, Miles. How do I? Okay, his happiness is great. Unknown favorite thing. We don't know anything about his aptitudes. His skill level is just one, whatever his skill is. Uh, his fault, unknown. We can change his name still. Oh, that's so fun. All right, so Dexter. Breed, days on the team, number of races. Unknown favorite thing, too. Oh, that's so fun that as time goes on, you get to know like more about your team. I wonder if there's like a way to maybe let them rest? Is there some way to do it? Can I run errands? Hire dog, read journal. What does that do? If a cool thing happens during a race, oh, that's from fame. So we learned a little bit more about fame. No racing entries, no dog trait entries, no skill type. Oh, this is so cool. There's gonna be little detail things to do. I get super excited about that. All right, in the league office. So we have monthly dues to join the league. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and we are going to make it the next day. And that makes the fatigue goes down on our puppies, which is fantastic. I guess we just like, Okay, we're just we're just hanging out here. We're just hanging out. Let's do this again. Fatigue down, fatigue down, fatigue down. I guess we're just waiting until the next race and we have to earn enough money to pay our dues, whatever our dues are, Thursday the 5th. All right, oh good, all the puppies are getting rusted. It would be so fun. Oh look, everybody's sitting down. Yay, hi guys. I wish there was a way to like get their happiness up. Can we buy things for them in the future? Maybe kind of like, you know, add to it a little bit more. Okay, so their fatigue is still pretty high. I feel so bad about that. Dexter is the only one with no fatigue. Medium fatigue on the other two. Oh boy. And we have a race tomorrow, I think. So let's see how that goes down. Association H H uh, headquarters to tree farm. First place winnings, 350. Challenge, average minus two, snow quality flawless. No, oh wow, this one looks even easier. Uh, you know what? I think we can do this. It's a short length. I think we can do it. Let's go ahead and try. All right. We're just going to have to take all of these dogs. We're going to have them lined up because that seemed to do pretty well last time. Dexter is steady in the middle. Lavender strong in the lead. And Miles at the back being super obedient. So let's do this. All right, guys. Hang on. All right. Come on, Lavender. I threw it too hard, didn't I, Lavender? I'm so sorry, Lavender. Why do I suck at this, Lavender? I'm sorry. Oh, hang on, Lavender. Oh, and now the others are getting tired. And I think a tree got in my way. Yes, okay, good. Keep going, Lavender. Keep going. All right, go, Lavender, go. 
Lavender, what happened? Is she is she super duper fatigued? Oh, what's happening? Are they getting distracted? Why am I so bad at this? Why am I so bad at this? I used up all my stuff because I wasn't even paying attention. I just got too excited. I'm so sorry, my puppies. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get better. I'm gonna have to really get better and not freak out so much. Okay, don't freak out. We're in fourth place. We're doing okay. All right, gotta get somebody his favorite thing. Okay, don't know what that is though. Lavender, Lavender, it's so hard to get something to you properly. I'm so sorry, my dear. All right, that was a perfect throw though. Okay, and here you go, Miles. All right, gonna restock. Oh, hang in there, Dexter. All right, oh, Lavender, I'm so sorry. Okay, that was just, we got second! I was gonna be like, that was just embarrassing, but we actually got second. So it could have definitely been better. I feel so bad that my puppies are so fatigued, but thankfully it was a short race, so they're not as fatigued as I was worried about. Rapport up with Dexter. Miles, oh my gosh, they get relationships with each other. This is the coolest thing, I am so excited. You gave Dexter a little bit of his favorite thing. His happiness is still good. Oh my gosh, yay, and Dexter leveled up, okay. All right, what's on your mind? Perfect timing, tangling, um, the heavy breathing. What about, what do I wanna learn about? Um, the dog traits. I guess we can only learn about something each time. Let's do, um, let's do looking pleased. Looking pleased unlocks new category. A dog looked pleased when something happened. Let's ask him about it. If you see your dogs getting happy about something, you found their favorite thing. This is one way to increase their happiness besides resting. I can help you put a finger on each dog's favorite thing if you're observant with them. So, okay, that was kind of general. I could have used some more help than that. I could have used more help than that, Raleigh. But this is awesome, so I am having a great time. I just really love it. I want to take better care of our dogs. I love that there's so many different breeds. I love that we're going to be able to hire more dogs in the future. This is just going to be really a fun little relaxing game and perfect to play in winter because of all the snow. So I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see more because I really, I know I don't want to be here. I just, I love these dogs already. I love Lavender. I love Miles and I love Dexter. They're like my new favorite dogs. No, don't tell Lily and Tate I said that. Okay, we're going to be good. I love them all. <laughs> And I hope you guys too, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.